You will not find a treasure like this in all Morocco, mademoiselle. Only 700 francs. Thanks. You're being cheated. Doesn't matter, thank you. He's a friend of Rick's. For friends of Rick's, we have a small discount. Did I say 700 francs? You can have it for 200. <laughs> I'm sorry I was in no condition to receive you when you called on me last night. Doesn't matter. No, for special friends of Rick's, we have a special discount of 100 francs. The story had me a little confused. Uh, maybe it was a bourbon. I have some table called some napkins. Thank you. It, I'm really not in Please, one minute, please. Why did you come back? To tell me why you ran out on me at the railway station? Yes. Well, you can tell me now. I'm reasonably sober. I don't think I will, Rick. Why not? After all, I got stuck with a railway ticket. I think I'm entitled to know. Last night, I saw what has happened to you. The Rick I knew in Paris, I could tell him he'd understand. But the one who looked at me with such hatred, I'll be leaving Casablanca soon, and we'll never see each other again. We knew very little about each other when we were in love in Paris. If we leave it that way, maybe we'll remember those days, not Casablanca. Not last night. Did you run out on me because you couldn't take it, because you knew what it would be like, hiding from the police, running away all the time? You can believe that if you want to. Well, I'm not running away anymore. I'm settled now. Above a saloon, it's true, but the walk up a flight. I'll be expecting you. <laughs> All the same, someday you'll lie to Laszlo. You'll be there. No, Rick. No, you see, Victor Laszlo is my husband. And was, even when I knew you in Paris. <laughs> 